Hey, what's up people? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. So today we're going to be doing something kind of cool. We're going to take this picture of Johnny Depp and we are going to actually remove his head. And it's going to look it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to be using Photoshop CS6. Uh, the techniques that I'm going to be using can probably be done in CS5, but you just won't look as cool doing it. So to begin, uh, I'm just zooming in uh, so we can get a good frame around his face there. And I'm going to duplicate this layer by clicking Control J. Now, the first thing we want to do is actually remove his head from the image. So to do that, I am going to grab the lasso tool. And I'm just going to quickly draw a selection around his head. And I'm not going to go too far down, just something like this. And then I'm going to go over to Edit, Fill, and Content to Wear Fill. Click that. You'll see it does a pretty good job. So let's try this again and see what happens if we do this. And then do the same thing. Alright, it's getting even better. And uh, I think I might just leave it at that. Let's try it one more time. One more time and see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that for now. So the first part I want to do is add the back of his shirt. So if we remove his face, it's just going to be a big empty spot there. Uh, we want to make it look like his, he never really had a head. So to do that, I just have this image right here of a shirt. And I'm going to size it up. I just All I want is just this collar and a little portion right here. So I'm going to lower the opacity just a little bit and then scale it down. Let's zoom in again. And I kind of just want to look at this back curve and line it up with his existing shirt. Okay, that'll probably do the trick. Let me zoom in a little bit and let's move it. Scale it just a little bit more. Looks good. Alright, so now all I need, if you look at this image, we don't need all this. So I'm just going to remove pretty much everything here. Um, again, I'm going to grab the lasso tool and add a layer mask by clicking this icon on the bottom of your layer panel. And you'll see it'll create this. And let's select um, like this. Whoa, horrible job, Steve. All right, and then I'm going to do Alt Backspace to fill it with black, which will delete that part. Let's move that, remove that as well. And I'm just going to grab the magic wand tool and select this, Control Backspace. And then I'm going to grab the paintbrush and just do some more refining work up in here. Up in here. Like that. Don't worry about the jaggedy edges, we will fix that later. All right, and I'm just using the magic. Uh, a layer mask so if I want I can go back and fix different portions by changing my color from black to white alright so that's that's good enough for now um, let's actually erase this front portion of it real quick so with my black paintbrush I'm going to erase just the front portion okay Now let's let's remove his neck that's going around here. So to do that, I'm just gonna hide that collared shirt, create a new layer, and then using the pen tool, or you can use the lasso tool, either one is fine. I'm gonna use the pen tool. And I'm just going to select around his skin over here. And I'm gonna lower the opacity so I can see it better. As usual, I'm just going to speed through this selection process because it's pretty boring to watch, but um, sped up, it's not too bad. You get the idea. Okay, now with that selected, I can bring up the opacity and change it to white. Looks good. Now, as you can see, on the outside of the selection, there's still some peach of the, the peach of the skin showing, and I want to remove that. So to do that, I'm going to make a selection of this. I'm going to select inverse, and then create a new layer. And I'm going to grab my paintbrush, and I'm going to do select this white here, and just make it a little bit darker. All right. And then all I'm going to do is just paint around, paint around all the edges like this. All 
and then there you go you can see that looks better all right so now uh, we have this collared shirt uh, this white we can create a layer mask and we can just hide this top portion right here because we don't need any of this showing above the collar looks good and now we have to finish removing this back end over there so to do that I'm going to hide the collar shirt um, let's see I'm gonna grab over here I'm gonna go to my patch tool and I'm gonna select a small portion here drag it out control D and you can see that doesn't really look too well to work out too well so what I want to do actually is grab my uh, lasso tool and I'm just gonna draw a selection around here something like this all right and then I'm gonna drag out to over here and click control J so that's gonna create a new layer with just the green and then I'm gonna drag that over over to here so it covers up that that spot looks good and then I'm gonna combine these with control E and then I'm gonna go over to the patch tool again and make a selection around here and drag that out that way it blends in better and it looks like it belongs there so let's unhide all this and you can see we got some artifacts showing and let's get rid of that and I also want to remove that portion right there which is part of the original image I believe so to do that I'm just going again going to let's see just going to make a selection like this all right and then bring that over and control J bring that down oh looks like I'm on the wrong layer All right, I'm gonna leave that there and then I'm gonna go over to here and just use the eraser tool and erase some of this very good so now if we zoom out you can kind of see what we're getting at it looks pretty good um, I want to make this this white over here blend in a little bit better so I'm gonna double double click the, the shape layer to double click it and then click on this gray and that will help it out a little bit like that and then we want to add some shadowing going on here so if I hide all this let's combine these um, we can grab the pen tool again and just make a selection coming over here like this all right and then we can make it black go to filter and blur Gaussian blur it's gonna say he wants to rasterize it to say okay that's fine and I'm gonna have mine at 2.5 so if I unhide all this I can go to this selection here go to select inverse or actually let's just select it and create a layer mask um, create a layer mask and then we got to drag it to the top my bad and then we can lower that opacity quite a bit down and then that gives it some depth some Johnny depth all right that was bad and then I'm gonna grab my paintbrush again and I'm just going to fix this edge over here remove those artifacts and it's doing good it's doing real good now let's um let's add a little bit more shadow shadowing over here and to do that again I'm gonna do the same thing uh, I'm just gonna create a new layer and this time with a black paint brush I'm just gonna do it by hand I'm just gonna do something like this then select this or let's do the filter blur Gaussian blur good select this selection inverse delete and then lower that opacity way down and then we can use the eraser tool and just um, erase some portions of that cool um, if you look at the shirt you can kind of see that it has more of a yellow tint than what we have for the background so I want to do that um, I'm gonna create a new layer above everything and I'm gonna grab sort of this yellowish yellowish color over there and then I'm gonna grab my paintbrush and just paint in a little tint like that 
and then we'll try multiply and it's looking better and then I want to only have it on this shirt so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select this hold down command click that and then command and shift and select this layer mask then go to selection inverse and then just delete that very good can lower that opacity and there we go now the edge up here is kind of sharp and jaggedy so I'm gonna fix that by creating a new layer grabbing my white paintbrush and zooming in and I'm just gonna hand paint just along the edge there just to soften it up zoom out and there you go that's all there is to it looks pretty sweet um, we can always add a caption that says what but no I wouldn't do that alright guys so thanks for watching hope you like this tutorial if you have any requests for anything else please let me know check us out on Twitter subscribe to us show some love thanks for watching see you next time